everyone, it's Fiona from Jiggy Wigglers Bournemouth and Paul. Hope you're okay and you've all had a, a nice day today. So I'm here this evening to read you your bedtime story. And tonight we are going to read What the Ladybird Heard. So have you got your pyjamas on and you've brushed your teeth and you've got your snugglies? So I hope you're all settled down, ready to listen. So get comfy and we'll start our story. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow and a ladybird. Can we see the ladybird in that picture? Oh, look, tiny ladybird just on the leaf there. Do you see her? And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. One cat meowed, while the other one purred. And the ladybird said never a word. So they're all very noisy animals, apart from the very quiet ladybird. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, this is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow shed. Do you see, that's, that's their plan to try and steal the cow there. And that's the route they're going to take. If you follow the arrows, they're going to go all the way around to get the cow. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow shed. So the little ladybird's on the cow's nose and she's telling all the other animals what the plan is. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the go goose, and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea, and she whispered into each animal's ear. At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, nay, with all her might. And Len said, that's the horse, turn right. And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck said, Hugh, we're right on track. Oink, said the cats. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba ba ba, said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh. See that they've fallen into the pond because all the animals have tripped them and they've gone the wrong way. And the farmer woke and said, golly gosh, and he called the cops and they came, Nina, and they threw the thieves into their panda car. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose and quack, said the duck. Nay, said the horse, oink, said the hog. Ba said the sheep and woof said the dog. 
And the farmer cheered and both cats heard, purred, but the ladybird said never a word. There she is, look, back on her leaf. And there they all are in the farm. Do you see that's the farm where they all live? So the ladybird came up with a really good plan, didn't she? So the prize cow didn't get stolen. So that was good. So that was a lovely book, wasn't it? A nice story for you all to listen to. So I hope you're all ready for bed now. So go and get tucked in and have a really good sleep. And I will see you tomorrow for our craft. It's a super easy one tomorrow, but a really good one. So I think you're going to like it. And you're going to be able to use this craft for two different things. So you're going to be able to use it on Friday in Louisa's session. And also you're, it's something you're going to be able to use at night when you're in your bedrooms. OK, so I'll see you tomorrow. Nighty nights.